And always a criminal news. Always a criminal, always a criminal. Submitted by Long Live King Joe. Thank you very much, eternally. A man who attacked cafe workers turned out to be a murder suspect who was just released from jail. Oh, shit. God damn. Oh, he what's sucks. this? What did cafe he attack? Workers. He really sucks at staying on the low, huh? He's crazy. That means he's a threat to society you because. Want to go back. Right? He just cannot contain his violence. Yeah, some people just have low self control and just really impulsive. Yeah. Dude, I, I just saw a film with Vince Vaughn in it where he's playing a serious role of like some kind of like white. Like Hitman dude. Oh, see the one. Oh, he, he beats the the car up. That one. Yeah, he punches the windshield. It's like, like it's kind of so ridiculous how strong his character is in that film. Yeah. But the fighting is brutal, dude. Really? I'm talking about like he smashed somebody's face into the floor with the bottom of his foot, scraped his face off the floor. Oh shit. That's, That's tight. And I, I was like mortified. I was like, yeah. what the fuck? That's mean. Was that a good movie? It is good. I want to watch it. And Vince Vaughn, by the way. Great actor. Ooh. That's cool because I, like I never see him in that kind of role. Yeah. Like to Great go, yeah. actor. I think he's so funny, and I'm I'm glad he's he's doing something that. Yeah, I, I never knew. I would have okay. never known. I was like, dude, he's a fucking amazing actor. Wow. So this dude here, his name is Carlton, or was Carlton? Oh, Carl that's why he's so violent. <laughs> he's probably been made fun of all his life. Carlton yep. Banks. Carlton <laughs> Banks. It's not unusual to be loved. Oh, and he's black. <laughs> Carlton Banks. He's smiling. Yeah, so he was 40, or oh, how old? 54? No, dang, I just had the number. 54 years old. That fool looks like he's unsure if he can see or not. <laughs> they just got a really bad photo. He was like, yeah, he's blinking. blinking. Bar I don't know if I can see yet. And but. I can see why you would get the age <laughs> confused, because he doesn't look either one of those ages. <laughs> he's got, he got some really fucking good skin. He looks like a fat Carlton. Yeah, yeah he does. Yeah. Alfonso, Riviera, thank yeah, you. Like I, <laughs> I don't know. Carlton. Carlton. <laughs> you That's didn't even have better. to throw out his name. You didn't even have to guess it at all. Yeah. But you went for Dude, it. that guy must never want to leave his house because everywhere he goes, he's Carlton. I know. Or maybe he does and he fucking Do loves dance. it. Because oh, he never Do did anything else. Do the fucking dance, monkey. Exactly. <laughs> monkey. <laughs> It's like here I have five dollars. Yeah, that's, that's what happens to people that like they're that they're one thing, and then this like, like Urkel, dude. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Urkel. Can I do that? But does Urkel have anything? He's done a couple other things, but all I see is Urkel in every single movie. He, he did some shitty sci-fi movies. Oh, by the way, monkey in this term was not a racial term. Monkey is just the saying that <laughs> yeah, you yeah. say when you ask somebody. Oh, because Carlton's black. <laughs> yeah, I keep forgetting Carlton's black. Oh, dance monkey, I see what you're yeah. saying. Right. Because people might misinterpret that. Yeah, That's yeah. what you say for everybody. Oh, yeah, yeah. God damn. Matter. I hate that we have to clarify that these you have days, to though, you know? Everybody's so fucking dumb. Yeah, fuck. Because when people tell us to go, uh, uh, hey, do something funny. Hey, 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 do that one thing that you always do. Do the accent or whatever. And it, it, that's literally dance monkey dance. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but this Carlton, though, so he was a suspect in, in a cold case, which is. Kind of ironic here because he was the one that jumped out of a freezer to attack some cafe workers. And That's after, funny. <laughs> Wait, yeah. he jumped out of the freezer? Yeah, he, so, he was just fucking chilling in there like, I'm gonna get these motherfuckers. That's fucking funny. Well, because she's also saying he was part of a, a cold case, meaning like, it was kind of like they don't know who yeah, did that murder. There's no more leads, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's it. yeah. The ice pick killer is what he is. <laughs> Wait, why Why did he want to attack him? Was he trying to rob? So this is kind of like a head scratcher here because they don't know how he even ended up in New York. This happened in Manhattan. He, he jumped out of a walk-in freezer. He had a knife and he was shouting, away Satan. Oh, fuck. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, and so he was, oh, okay. right now he's fa or he was facing murder charges in the 1988 shooting of two men in Boston. Damn. What if he went to Hell's Kitchen thinking that, like, you know, it's mm. literally Hell's Kitchen? <laughs> yeah. So he went to New York. He's trying so to clean up it. Hell's Kitchen. Yeah. That's too bad. Ooh. Nice man. Yeah, and so he too calm right here, dude. That shit was dope. <laughs> that connection was wild. Yeah, I like that one. New York Hell's Kitchen. Yeah, yeah. I always like the name of that city. Anyway. Yeah. He died of a fatal heart attack after he jumped out of the. So he fucking. <laughs> he was cold. He was. <laughs> oh my god. So he killed himself. Pretty much with a yeah, the heart attack. Dude, this is a fucking comedy. Like yeah, you can't crazy. write this shit. Maybe he was close to death already, so he could start to see into the beyond, and oh, he could see the fucking demons like in their 
in their space. He was fighting the Grim Reaper. Because death was coming. Why not? And Grim Reaper is a sous chef in the middle of Manhattan. That's why I always wonder, are crazy people crazy when they're yelling at shit? Nope. Like, I think they're on a different dimension and they can actually talk to shit. I say, why not? I would believe that if we get a room of this of crazy people and they're talking to the same specter. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, that's tight. You know what I'm saying? So if like if we get like 30 crazy people, right? And they're just like, well, this guy won't shut the fuck up and they're pointing at nothing and they all know what that person is and the same name. Then it's like That's chilling. That's, that's usually not the case though. It's usually they're all having their own conversation. Yeah. <laughs> so You know what it is? It's just uncontrolled neuroticism. It's just going outwards, not left in here. Mm. Yeah, but that's less fun. I know. I like the spirit one. Let's go back to the spirit one. So here's my theory, is that uh, crazy people and babies, they talk in the same realm. So then when they, you know, fucking talk to themselves and whatever, they're all communicating. That's what I think. Yep. Yeah. I've also seen some of the most aggressive but courteous and polite homeless people that are like, so there's this, uh, back when we used to live in downtown, there's like this little patch of dirt that we walked our dogs to, and there's this guy like, fuck you, fuck your bitch, fuck you, fuck you. And he looked like he was just ready to throw down with anybody. He had headphones on, and he had a sleeping bag, and he would like, fuck you, fuck, I fucking hate you. And he puts the sleeping bag down. He was gonna go inside, he crawls inside, he's like, fuck you, fuck, fuck, fuck. And then the security guard comes and goes, sir, you can't uh, lay here. And he goes, fuck, fuck, fuck you, fuck you. And he gets out, and he still rolls up his sleeping bag, as if like there's a side of him that's like, I'm so sorry, sir, I can't believe I lay here. And he rolls it up, and he walks down the street, he's still, fuck, 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 you, fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm like, damn, this guy has like two. Cleans up all his trash, puts it in the garbage can, he's like, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> You. Yeah. Puts the dirt back like, so there's no imprints of his body. Because I thought he was going to swing on him because of how aggressive he was. <laughs> but the security guard's just chilling like, yeah. yep. I thought he was going to swing. I'm like, fuck, there's a fight about to break out. But he was just so polite. He just rolled it up and <laughs> fucking moved out to the side. I start feeling um, worse for homeless people depending on the weather. Oh, I know. Me yeah, too. The hotter it is, the more I give. The colder it is, the more I give. If it's a sunny day, I'm like, fuck you. Whenever it's raining and I'm like, yay, it's raining. I always, like in the back of my head, I'm like, oh yeah, there's homeless people. <laughs> I think that's what that too. All the fucking time, I'm right? like, yeah, rain. But what if they Aww. like it and they're like, yes, finally I get to take a shower. Maybe that's oh, yeah. that's probably true. Yeah. I highly I doubt that's the bar. case. Yeah, and the next day you see like shiny, clean homeless people. There's just a lot of like interesting situations. Like like I said, Pasadena has a lot of homeless people that people don't even know. Like there's just a lot there. Same guy every time I come out the gym. Same dude there. Hey sir, could you just change for a sandwich? I'm like, hey, what if I get you a sandwich? He goes, I don't want a sandwich. I'm like, well, what? <laughs> All right. Then he so lied. Want to change for a sandwich? <laughs> And I was like, okay. <laughs> That's like every time somebody's like, it's like, oh, I want a white Christmas this year. It's like, think of all the homeless people like who like are fucking freezing cold. to death. <laughs> it's like, mm, please let there be a lot of rain in LA, please. And I whoever says I want Christmas. a white Christmas this year and has lived in LA is fucking dumb. Yeah. <laughs> they're like wishing for something. It happened in the 70s. It did? Where was it a snowed. white Christmas? It was in the 70s. It snowed what? on accident. I think so. I remember so. when it hailed like a motherfucker here like five years ago. That was crazy. That was right. I think we were here and then it started hitting our cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it was at our, it's when we had, we didn't have the office yet. We were living oh. at 619. I remember opening the door and there was a we bunch of- We were in JK News and Maybe there was hella hell outside. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. Happen, but these were huge yeah. at that time. That's crazy, man. Weather's like crazy. So nice. <laughs> I don't know. I think, uh, uh, wait, what's this article about? Because I keep thinking about spirits I've, I've been now. trying to figure it out, too, the whole time without yeah. asking. I'm so fucking focused on this spirits. About it's about the man who attacked people guy. from the freezer. The, the crazy case guy. Cold case killer who yeah. died cold. from... Cold. Yeah. Cold case killer. Exactly. Yeah. That guy. Damn. What kind of restaurant was it? It was a... <laughs> yeah, that question was coming out. It was a popular Manhattan eatery. We're hungry, okay? I know, me too. On the Upper That's West hard. Side. <laughs> This oh, is what so it looks like. Upscale. Sarah Beth. How did he get in the freezer? That's the craziest. Yeah. yeah. Have you been in a in a environment, a restaurant environment? Like sometimes you don't even see people. Like you, you just assume everyone the works there. Oh, because like, you're so you don't, busy. Well, that and you don't you don't know the, all the shifts and shit. Because you're like if you're not uh, full time there 100 percent of the time, you don't know. Who that's you. true. And then there's delivery guys. Yeah. Like, they come and bring the produce. Yeah. And they just walk straight into the fridge and drop it off. All that stuff. Oh, it's always delicious. different people. I can see why it happened. Best wow. up, Charo. He doesn't look crazy. Like he looks like a regular. 
regular cat, you know? Except he stared at his nose the whole time. <laughs> you know what though? If you do have anger problems though, the freezer can chill you out, like literally. Literally. <laughs> Is that what you do? You put your head about this waiter. Why? He's staring at his nose. <laughs> I was like, how's he gonna work today? I don't know. Did he have a family? Uh, I'm not sure. They don't mention that. That's a great question. Probably ate them. Yeah, he probably ate them. Yeah. <laughs> he yeah. sounds like a crazy motherfucker. Makes sense to me. <laughs> I like hanging out in uh, big refrigerators. When have you been in a big refrigerator? Like a produce? Like Costco? Yeah, but like, no, because I used to work at a restaurant. In the big refrigerators, like the walk in. I like hanging in there. That shit's like, yeah. on a hot day, that shit chills you out immediately. I get too creeped out. Like, I walked into the one that they have, like Casey's parents' restaurant. Like you're gonna locked in there, huh? And I walk in, and I'm just like, I have to have one arm outside. Like I'm just so scared. Even right. though there's a handle inside. Oh, you, you think it's gonna close forever or something? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, there is a handle for me to oh. get out, but it's still. Well, don't you like work. the smell of a refrigerator? It smells. I do. I fucking love it. I love the. At I the love grocery it. store, I like opening the freezer section and smelling yeah. that fucking Freon, dude. I yeah, love it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh baby. There's something so crisp about it. I, my, I've been killing my brain cells. Oh. I love the smell of gasoline too. Oh, me too. Not oh. gasoline. Oh. Sharpies? Sharpies, oh, I love yeah. the smell of Sharpies. Why don't? Um, no. What about lacquer? Yeah. Oh. I love lacquer. Is that that like rubbery glue? Or what's lacquer? No, that's a, um, you're talking about rubber cement. Oh, yeah. yeah the the lacquer is yeah. like if you're working with wood and it's like this clear top coat. It's like coat. a clear coat for the wood. He loves ooh. Who, me? No, this guy. I do. I like that shit. I like refrigerators. Like Costco, I like walking into and just chilling I'm out. I'm talking about smells. Dude, how about when you, how about going to the refrigerator section of like a Home Depot and opening the, Depot. Opening the refrigerator and fucking smelling inside of it, dude. The Home Depot? That shit's yeah. bad, because it's not even cold or anything. No, it smells but it like, smells bomb. It smells oh, weird. Right. Oh, like the appliances oh. section. Yeah, yeah, when oh. you're in the refrigerator section, dude. Because it's it just, just plastic. plastic. No, it smells appliance. like fresh appliance, and it smells bad. Oh yeah, fresh appliance, yeah. The only fresh appliance <laughs> smell I do like is uh, Max. Steve, like, I need you to get the fuck out of this room right now. What, you, about? what the fuck are you talking about, bro? <laughs> Just come with me. There's a Home Depot really close to here. We're gonna do another JK News episode. I'm gonna be like, hey, Steve. Right there, bro. <laughs> We're gonna see a vlog on your channel of you guys going, you know what, it's fucking bomb. I would just have my room lined up with fridges open. You will love it.